Now, whether you're baking for the upcoming holidays or just like to make things a little easier in the kitchen, a stand mixer isn't just a great tool, it's a great conversation piece. But with the price range that can vary from one way to the other, what is right for you? Well, Gary Gelfand and Scott Moak te te are teaming up with our sponsors at Best Reviews to get you into the mix. <laughs> Time for some best reviews. We're talking about stand mixers. Now, right. I don't know much about these. She's the expert. She knows more. You actually had one of these, so you kind of have an idea. We're going to we're gonna break down a Christmas gift here in a second, but Andrea, <laughs> thanks for coming back. <laughs> best pleasure. reviews, obviously. We know uh, the review. Look, you brought the Cadillac version of, I did. of mixers. Yes. This is the KitchenAid Pro line. Five quart bowl, nice big capacity. Four quarts is about a gallon. That might help you kind of translate the amount. Right. But you can read all about these on Best Reviews uh, and compare and contrast the different KitchenAid models. We're here today to talk about budget models. That's budget right. Models. And KitchenAid right. does have one that is Believe a it or not, better price point. It's a better price point. This is the KitchenAid Artisan Mini. Okay. It's a little 3.5 quart bowl, excuse me. It's got little miniature attachments. It has a broken neck as Ooh, opposed to a bowl lifter, right? Nice. It's a little bit easier to get your ingredients in and out. And this one, uh, I think I mentioned, runs for about $350. And it's a great option Comes for Comes with some different attachments. I know that's it a big does. thing for people. It does. Smaller footprint on your countertop than this guy. It's a little easier to put in your okay. cabinet. It's 10 pounds lighter than that guy. So. And when we say KitchenAid, we say Cadillac. This is the top. Yes. The top okay. Yes. Well, the Got brand it. is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And now we moved on a little my bit. My Christmas gift but has arrived. <laughs> yes. This is. I did get this for Christmas. I was super excited. It was my first jump into the mixing world. Okay. Tell us a little bit about what we got. This is the Hamilton Beach six speed electric mixer. This one also has a three and a half quart bowl compared to those two um, and it's powerful. I really like this one a lot. It um, also comes with three attachments and it has a really interesting functionality on the side. When you're turning on the speed dial it has sort of um, a pulse function. If you've ever used a food processor, right? And so you can actually turn the knob. Did you figure here that one out, Scott? It just pops it? it real quick. It'll pop it with a couple spins and just it if you need to, right. But let me tell you, this thing the next door neighbors know you're mixing stuff. I'll tell you right now, it is it is a workhorse. It's a, it's a, it's a turning. It is moving. It's a moving. Okay. It, it right. will wake the baby. Yes, yes it will. Yes, it will. You're right. And we have another one from the brilliant Hamilton Beach. Um, this one is a seven speed. This is a little bit higher, you know, model than this one. Uh, it's got greater capacity. It's a little bit heavier. This one retails for one fifteen. Ooh. And get into my range now. Yeah. Right. Get into my range. Okay. okay. We're gonna work here. Yeah, I, I do. I will say. I like the like. Uh, I, I might call it the suitcase feature. I'm sure an expert like you isn't, you're not going to call it that. I call it the handle. iron. It's the same thing, okay. but iron. I love See? this. If you have to carry it around, it's nice and light, very easy to take to someone's mm. house and bake or if you're teaching classes. Um, and it's also got, as you probably heard, suction cups, suction cups on the yeah. feet to help you uh, keep it on the counter keep so it doesn't it walk it itself off. That's yeah, it's so lightweight, you kind of need that. But, but wait, there's more, right? <gasps> you brought your own mixer from home? And this one's stuck to the ground too. Look at it. <laughs> now this is super, super light. Tell us about that one. That's very sweet. That is our dash mixer. That one has a three quart bowl, the smallest of the small. And, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful design piece to have out on your countertop. It's a little bit loud. It's a little bit fast, but you know what? It works great if you're in like a restaurant kitchen and you have to whip up whipped creams really quick and all different flavors and things right. like that. It's also a great starter mixer for those moving into their first apartment or just starting baking. Loud and fast, just like uh, just like. <laughs> I love the colors, though. I love the color. Right? It's right? gorgeous. You can read all about these on bestreviews.com. That's where we'll head. Andrea, thanks for coming into the Thank kitchen. You. Baking expert. Let's go. She's the expert. For more on those products and where to buy them, visit our website and search Best Reviews. Now look, to 